Johnny Mac with your daily comedy news. Impeachment hearings this week. The charge is that Donald Trump was singularly responsible for the Capitol riot last month. Jimmy Fallon said Rudy Giuliani was heartbroken, saying singularly responsible. What am I, chop cigars? Fallon, after that, Trump's legal team filed a brief that claims that he isn't responsible. It wasn't that hard to write. His lawyers just copied and pasted his defense from the last impeachment. Control F Ukraine replaced with riots. Colbert, the brief opens with a simple timeline of the facts. The president refuses to accept the results of the 2020 election. The president incites insurrectionists to attack the Capitol. Insurrectionists incited by the president attack the Capitol. The president's derelict of duty during the attack. All right, that checks out. He's a derelict and they smeared the Capitol with duty. And Colbert, the disgraced former president's team, argued he cannot be convicted by the Senate because he's no longer in office. So, okay, you leave a job, you're immune from prosecution. Cannibalism? Nice try, Your Honor, but I don't even work at White Castle anymore. This next story cracks me up. I'm going to probably spend more time on this than I should. I don't know why I find this so funny. From Brewbound, your home for comedy news, stand-up comedian, television and film actor, talk show host and author... Who could that be? I'm not even going to tell you. Think about it. Who's a stand-up comedian, television and film actor, talk show host, and author? That's right. It's George Lopez. George Lopez, whose passion for authentic Mexican food and beer encouraged him to develop a restaurant brand, George Lopez's Chingon Kitchen, back in 2017. He's expanding his footprint in the food and beverage industry with the introduction of George Lopez's Chingon Kitchen Carne Asada and Pollo Asado. You'll be able to find that in grocery stores. Oh, and the launch coincides with the release of George Lopez Brewing Company's first four Taloco Cervezas. There's a lot to unpack there. So just, you know, really quickly, George is selling carne asada and pollo asado in grocery stores, and he's got a brewing company. Oh, let's dive in on this. From the press release, inspired by family recipes, George Lopez's Chingon Kitchen Carne Asada and Pollo Asado is fresh, never frozen, is produced in the United States. To kick things off, the products are available in two-pound vacuum-sealed packages in meat departments exclusively at Food for Less stores in Southern California. The premium Midwestern beef and all-natural chicken is marinated in fresh orange juice with onion, garlic, lemon peel, and a hint of grapefruit, creating a great taste for year-round grilling and perfect for tacos, salads, or just by itself. Actually, it sounds pretty good. George Lopez said, The best memories of my grandmother were the times we spent together in the kitchen. Her cooking was exceptional, especially her marinated meats. My Chingon Kitchen restaurants replicate her original recipes, and we are thrilled to be offered the carne asada and pollo asado at Food for Less for people to enjoy at home. Let's move on to the beers. Based at the Brews Hall in Torrance, California, George Lopez Brewing Company's first four Taloco Cervezas are also available at Food for Less stores in Southern California. Let me jump in there. George Lopez Brewing Company, every time I read that, I just picture Michael Scott Paper Company. But the George Lopez Brewing Company has four flavors of beer. They include Naranja Crema. That's an orange cream ale. That sounds pretty good. Paloma is a West Coast grapefruit IPA. Lil Mexi, L-I apostrophe L-M-E-X-I. I'm not doing a bit. A Mexican style lager. And Agria y Fresca, which is a hibiscus sour ale. The beer is sold in four packs of tall boy cans. Each features artwork by San Diego-based street artist Dice One. The beers were standouts at the 2020 Brewski Awards, which, as you know, is an international craft beer competition. George said, I took as much care in designing the can artwork using brilliant Chicano art as I did in crafting the beer. The cans are too good looking to be put in a paper bag. Oh, there's more. There are three George Lopez Chingon Kitchen restaurants in Southern California and Arizona. George Lopez Chingon Kitchen is a unique, fast, casual dining concept featuring made from scratch, authentic Mexican cuisine that celebrates some of the Lopez family's time-honored dishes in an energized urban setting with hand-painted graffiti art that pays tribute to Mexican history, culture, and folklore. The authentic menu includes tacos, burritos, bowls, and salads, loaded with a choice of wood-fired carne asada, pollo asado, and spit-fired al pastor. Guests can also expect Mexican favorites like handmade tortillas, guacamole, churros, street corn, horchata, and more. Some locations offer full bars where tequila fans will enjoy the restaurant's large selection of the agave-based spirits and extensive margarita offerings. Beer from George Lopez Brewing Company, Michael Scott Paper Company, or their favorite go-to beer, wine, or cocktail 
Good food served fast in an energized urban environment. The brand is expanding into packaged foods in 2021. This isn't even a commercial. George Lopez should pay for this, but I'm having so much fun. George Lopez Brewing Company, not to be confused with Michael Scott Paper Company, was founded in 2019. Lopez, along with his expert brewmaster, who is not named in this press release, but George must have a lot of expertise in brewmastering. Together, they carefully develop extremely flavorful recipes designed to appeal to a wide range of discerning palates, many using fresh tropical fruits. Taloco means crazy, and that's exactly what these outrageous and unique beers are. The recipes are inspired from fond memories from Lopez's life or classic authentic dishes or cocktails from his family traditions. No beers released until Lopez says, wait for it. This is not an edit. I'm doing this on purpose. No beer is released until Lopez says that it is Ta Loco. All right. I've been teasing it for days. Are you ready? You are going to participate in the Daily Comedy News Top Dog. Here's how this works. I'm going to tell you the matchup. You can vote on Instagram. There's a post with the matchup in the comments. Tell me who you like. Or if you're old, you can vote over voicemail. I'll give you a phone number in a minute, and I'll put the phone number in the notes for the podcast because I know it's hard to remember a phone number. Also, if you leave me a voicemail, I'll use it on the show. That's fun. All right, so here's how this works. We're going to vote. I'm going to collect votes through, like, the end of Thursday, and then one of these comedians will advance and take on a new comedian next week. Why are we doing this? Because it's fun. All right, for the inaugural... Daily Comedy News Top Dog. You will pick between Jim Gaffigan or Bill Burr. Who is your top dog, Jim Gaffigan or Bill Burr? You probably know this because it was in the episode title of the podcast you downloaded and now we're several minutes into. Jim Gaffigan or Bill Burr, one of them will be your Daily Comedy News top dog. Vote on the Instagram page, Daily Comedy News, or if you want to leave a voicemail, 973-370-5353. 973-370-5353. That'll be in the episode description if you don't remember the number. Daily Comedy News Top Dog, Jim Gaffigan or Bill Burr. Vote now. Vote often. Can you vote often? I don't know what the rules are. Sure, vote often. Mike Berbiglia spoke to Vulture about hell gigs. He said, I once played at a bar called Bunkies in Ohio. Terrible, right? No, it was fun. Those type of shows are typically called hell gigs by comics, shows that don't take place in clubs, but instead loud bars, town gymnasiums, bowling alleys, sometimes even laundromats. I performed in the center of an all-night college walkathon and in the daily lines of cafeterias in the afternoon. I've shown up to at least 30 shows that didn't have a microphone and 100 that didn't have a stage. Hell gigs are part of the job. But the location actually doesn't really matter. People just want to watch comedy. Everyone's reason for watching comedy is different, but for me, it's the shared catharsis of a person on stage talking about the same anxieties you might be experiencing. Your sleepwalking is their sleep apnea or whatever it is that keeps them up at night. At its best, stand-up comedy is one person taking the mic and providing the audience with an hour of escapism from the predictability of life. The comedian provides an assortment of twists and turns and misdirects and stories that feel like our own stories turned on their heads and packed with jokes. As an audience, we feel that simultaneous epiphany of that's like me combined with the shocked that's nothing like me the experience can be thrilling in one moment it shocks us and in the next it hangs a lantern on the universality of the absurd i like that a lot hey new special tomorrow from comedy dynamics it's called lou burger live from lincoln hall in chicago the laugh button saw the trailer they say lou burger is made up of keith Habersberger, Alex Lewis, and Huey Stonefish. Lou Berger has been described as the illegitimate love child of Lonely Island and Flight of the Concords. Right there, I'm in. You may have seen them on NBC's Bring the Funny Comedy Competition. I apparently have erased that show from my brain. Keith Habersberger said, I grew up idolizing comedy musicians. Very proud to create smart, edgy comedy songs alongside Alex and Huey. And I'm thrilled at the launch of our first special. Huey Stonefish said, Combining comedy and music with two of my best friends is a dream come true. And having the special out is an exciting step for us as a group. And don't leave out Alex Lewis. He said, We are so excited to have captured what we do. And that comedy dynamics is making us so much more accessible for our fans. Ryan Volkweiss, I know him. He's cool, so I won't just call him a suit. Ryan said, musical comedy is a unique talent that not many can do well. With that being said, Lou Berger exceeds the grandest expectations of what the ideal musical comedy could ever be. We're excited for you to watch. You will find that tomorrow on Amazon Prime, Apple TV, Google Play, YouTube, and more. 
on February 12th. There'll be an album version out. Lou Berger, live from Lincoln Hall from Chicago. Comedy Dynamics has a really good track record. They don't put out crap, so you should take that seriously and check that out. And that's your comedy news for today. All right, you're going to vote. Daily Comedy News top dog. Is it Jim Gaffigan or Bill Burr? Hit the Instagram page and vote or call 973-370-5353. The number's in the notes. If you want to support the show, buymeacoffee.com slash Daily Comedy News. You can follow the show on Spotify. Subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, wherever you get your shows. I don't care. Wherever you get it, just subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow.